Welcome to some coffee time quarantine content. I have a fantastic story to share with you guys today. It happened again. I've been reported to the FAA. This is um, the fifth violation I've been reported on, but the third time I've had an interaction with the FAA. In all of these previous complaints, I was found to be completely innocent. The complaints were from people who either didn't know the proper regulations or were just trolling on the internet. You can find all the details in my two previous FA videos linked below. So here's how the story starts out. I'm out actually getting some coffee beans and some groceries and I get an email. I think the email was titled something like a hotline complaint. I open it up and I see that it's the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. If you're not familiar, they regulate the airspace. In this email, they briefly described what the complaint was about and they asked me to give them a call on the number they provided. Now, like I mentioned, I've dealt with the FAA two times in the past. They've always been super cool, super understanding, easy to work with. And judging by what they said the complaint was about, I was 99% sure that it was not going to be an issue but still my heart sank. A lot is riding on the line here. My entire life basically revolves around flying, whether it's for pleasure or for making YouTube videos and earning a living online. I wanted to laugh about it initially because the nature of the complaint was so absurd and ridiculous that it was laughable, but I didn't want to laugh yet because I wasn't in the clear. I knew I had to call the FAA first, make sure everything was 100%, and then I could laugh about it after. Now I'm gonna explain exactly what happened as I've done in the past with these FA interactions. But before we get to that, there's something I want to address. Like I said, this is the fifth complaint that's come from the internet somewhere out there um, based upon my video content I produce. And I don't really mind dealing with the FA. It's not a big deal to me, but I actually feel bad for the guys at the FA having to deal with these absurd, ridiculous complaints coming from essentially internet trolls. It takes up their time and their resources away from dealing with actual issues, but I wanna do my part in helping stop that from happening. I think I have an idea. Um, I think we need to start some sort of revolution here of um, do not report Tucker got to the FAA. So what do you think? Caution, do not report Tucker got to the FAA. I love this shirt. I um, am gonna be wearing it in future videos to help pass along the message to future viewers to not report me to the FAA, especially for things like dropping toilet paper out of my paramotor. I've made these shirts available online. First link in the description, tuckergot.com. This is gonna be an exclusive run. We're only doing so many of these. So if you wanna join the movement, join the campaign to get people to quit reporting me to the FAA, pick one of these up, wear it to your local fly-in, spread the message. Stop making ridiculous reports. This guy's printed front and back. In addition to launching this fabulous, humorous t-shirt, we also are introducing a new blueprint design. Boom, and we got the new blueprint design. This is gonna be one of my all-time favorites. This one is also printed front and back, and the blueprint is also going to only be available for a limited time. In addition to these two new limited edition shirts, we're bringing back the Eat Sleep Fly and the classic Risky Biscuits t-shirt. They're just gonna be staple t-shirts to stay in the store all the time. In the first week from the time this video is being posted, which is April 7th to the 13th, we're including a free caution sticker with every order. Also in the first week, we'll be throwing in a GoPro 7 Silver to two random orders. These little dudes film in 4K and are perfect for filming paramotor adventures. Make sure you get your order in before April 13th at midnight Eastern Standard Time. You might just find a fresh new GoPro in your order. As much as I love this shirt, I'm gonna put my uh, Do Not Report shirt back on. I think it's a little bit more fitting for this video. All right, so let's get into the full story of what happened with the FA most recently and why this shirt is hilarious. Now this starts back on January 7th, 2020. We're out on a van life trip 
and I had a thousand foot roll of toilet paper that I was dying to throw from my paramotor. Now, dropping toilet paper from aircraft has been around essentially since aircraft and toilet paper were invented. My grandfather used to tell me stories of them throwing out toilet paper and cutting it with the old barnstormer Stearmans and everything. When I got into paramotoring, that was one of the first things I did in the first year of flying. Chuck out a roll of toilet paper, fly around it, and then chase it to the ground. I had always used standard length toilet paper rolls, and I always wondered what would a thousand foot roll look like. So I had acquired a thousand foot roll, but I didn't want to drop it here in New Jersey because with that much toilet paper, I knew I might not hit my target. And if it ended up in someone's front yard, that would be way too much toilet paper, TP the whole freaking house. So I took the necessary precautions and I waited until we were out west on our van life trip in the middle of the desert, approximately a one by one mile plot a one square mile plot of desert. I went up to two or 3000 feet and I lobbed that sucker out, chased it down and it was insane. It looked awesome. I thought it was hilarious. A lot of other people enjoyed it. Um, when I originally posted the video, there was like zero backlash. Everyone loved it. It was a fun little thing to do. But then fast forward to March 17th, 2020. Now we got this whole, I don't want to say the word, but um, pandemic thing going on and everyone started buying out the toilet paper. I personally was running low on toilet paper and I couldn't find any and I thought it would be funny to go back and grab a clip from my dropping a thousand foot roll of toilet paper and I posted it on Instagram saying something like well this didn't age well and a lot of people thought it was hilarious like a couple months ago I was just out carelessly throwing a thousand foot roll of toilet paper in the desert Fast forward a couple months and now we don't have any toilet paper and I needed it. So it was funny for the most part, but a couple people got very offended by this. And it wasn't for the reason I expected. I thought people would have maybe assumed it was current day and I was wasting toilet paper, but nobody cared about that. A couple people were very concerned about me littering and said that I needed to put disclaimers that people need to pick up their trash. But my response to that was, this was a clip from a full length video. And if you watch the full length video, I picked up every scrap of toilet paper the other thing that people started to get upset about was the whole FAA dropping things from aircraft. So one guy comments, you do know that throwing anything from an aircraft is a federal offense as posted in the FAA laws. Now you're showing yourself doing it on video, not smart Tucker. So me, already being aware of the regulation and already having dealt with the FAA specifically on that regulation, decided to respond back and kind of troll this troll. So I said, please cite this federal offense. Nobody was able to cite the actual FAR 103 regulation, so I went ahead and shared it. I said, for the record, part 91 is not applicable as I am flying an ultralight vehicle. The correct regulation is 103.9 section B. No person may allow an object to be dropped from an ultralight vehicle if such action creates a hazard to other persons or property. And I said, no hazards were created, therefore it is legal. I guess Dude Man was feeling a little defeated and decided to make up a hazard of his own. So he said, it's easy. What if this fell on someone's windshield on their car and obstructed their view? If you like, I can report the video for you. Let's see how the FAA responds. I was a little aggravated at this point, so I decided to up my volume a little bit. I said it wouldn't be the first time someone wasted the FAA's time and resources on a bull complaint. The area that the toilet paper was dropped was in the middle of the desert. No people within range of my toilet paper. If you'd like to watch the full video on my YouTube page, the paper makes a safe landing in the middle of the desert and I pick up every piece. Then you can consider if you want to make your complaint. Now at this point, I thought it was over with. I thought there's no way this guy can be so dumb to go through with making an actual complaint when I've told him the regulation, told him that no hazard was created, and told him there's a full video on YouTube where he can watch the toilet paper, make a safe landing, and not hit someone's windshield. Well, I was wrong. I underestimated someone's stupidity. And turns out he went ahead and called up the FAA. I said called up, but I think you can actually submit a form online anonymously. And so, like I said, I was out getting some groceries and I receive an email. Basically the email says, this is an FAA safety inspector. If you could give me a call at your earliest convenience, I'd like to talk to you. I have a couple questions about dropping a roll of toilet paper on your Instagram. 
Now that right there is a slightly hilarious email to receive from the FAA, but I go ahead and call the FAA right away. So the nature of the call, he basically asked if I was aware of the video on Instagram. So I said, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And he says, basically, all I have to ask is, do you remember uh, where this took place? Was it over a populated area or not? And I said, of course not. This was just a clip from a full video that I had posted months ago. I explained that I was over a one square mile piece of desert, um, that my girlfriend was the only person within the vicinity. I took measures to figure out the wind drift, calculate my altitude, all of that. I dropped the toilet paper, it was successful, and in the full video, you see it land safely in the middle of the desert. Of course, he said the actual complaint mentioned toilet paper falling on someone's windshield. So I think it's safe to assume I know exactly who made that complaint. The FAA examiner, having heard the full story, said, yep, that's basically what I expected. Presented no harm to persons or property on the ground. And he said, I'm good. So we kind of laughed about how ridiculous the nature of the complaint was. So I apologized to him and I said, I know it kind of comes with the territory for me but I hate that it takes away their time and their resources from doing more important things when people are calling in and complaining about toilet paper being dropped. So hence why this t-shirt is now presented, Stop Reporting Tucker Got to the FAA. I'm hoping that this will serve as a nice reminder in future videos, especially when I'm doing something a little extra risky biscuits. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And if you wanna pick up one of these shirts or the new blueprint shorts or any of the stuff on tuckergot.com, make sure you check out the link below. This shirt, as well as the blueprint, like I said, is limited edition, so it's not gonna be around for long. So if you want them, make sure you pick them up now. Hope you guys are doing well in this whole pandemic. Look forward to a bit more uh, content like this coming in the near future. And uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, peace. Mm -hmm.